Your world is changing. Your customers, markets, technology, even your workforce are all being disrupted by the explosion of data, sensors on everything, the Internet of Things, predictive analytics, ubiquitous social media, and of course, AI. It's all evolving at an exponential rate. So to thrive and stay relevant, your organization needs to be faster, more innovative, more collaborative, and more efficient. You may need to rethink business models. You may need to even radically improve what you do and how you do it to even remain in existence. And you know this, of course. What you may not realize is that when it comes to digital transformation or a turnaround or any major shift involving culture, 70% of these initiatives fall short of stated goals. The good news is the answer to truly sustainable transformation is available to us. What's new and different is what is happening in the worlds of cognitive and cultural neuroscience. What these and related disciplines are providing is a better understanding of change and better tools and methods for undertaking it. The problem is, beyond simple headlines, few in the business world know any of this. Hi, my name is David White. I'm a cognitive anthropologist and the founder of Culture Logics, a boutique consultancy working in the fields of organizational transformation and culture. I'm also an independent researcher, and I have been in business for over 35 years, leading change in organizations such as Microsoft and technology startups. And I consult in a diverse array of industries from technology to industrial manufacturing to healthcare to defense. You may be someone who has tried to initiate transformation in your organization, and perhaps like most companies, you told your senior managers that culture starts at the top. If they set the right tone, surely the organization will follow, right? Or maybe you wrote a new set of corporate values and trained the whole company on them with a branding campaign and slick new taglines. Or maybe put all your engineers through agile training or your operations people through Lean and Six Sigma training. You've spent a lot of time and money. And yet, what you have found, or will soon find, is that none of that is working. You've consumed a lot of bandwidth in your organization only to see minimal or very slow change, if any. The reason for this is how we understand and work with corporate culture. You see, the culture industry, and it's a billion dollar industry, is largely built on anecdote, myth, and very old science from the early part of the 20th century, much of which has been debunked. It's an industry that's been around since the 1970s, made up of big strategy and HR consulting firms, media pundits, best-selling authors, even business schools, all pushing dumbed down and business change solutions like the latest brand of shampoo. The problem is none of it works. If it was working, we wouldn't see the following. Almost two thirds of employees globally remain disengaged at work, or two thirds of all mergers fail or nearly 40% of Fortune 1000 CEOs have engaged in some kind of corporate misconduct, and that these figures have remained roughly the same for decades. If the culture industry was really providing you with effective solutions, we would see much better outcomes by now than we do. So if none of what you've been told about culture and transformation really works, what does? The answer requires a little understanding of what's been going on in the science of culture over the last three decades. I'm not talking about what's going on in business schools. I'm referring to work on the so-called cultural mind emerging from cultural neuroscience and related fields. What these disciplines are showing is that the way we think about culture in business is just wrong. It's well-intended, but misguided. Culture is not values. Culture is not a mirror of the leader's personality. It's not behavior. It's not attitudes. These things actually may relate to culture, but they're symptoms and not the core of culture. And so for all these years, we've been trying to address the problem by going after symptoms versus root cause. No wonder it hasn't been working. At the core of culture are certain building blocks cognitive scientists know as cultural schemas and cultural models. 
We call them dominant logics because they take shape as a kind of shared logic or way of making sense. Dominant logics are mental models that we share and take entirely for granted. For example, how do we know not to stare at strangers? Or how do we know how to order food in a restaurant? Or how do we know how to line up for tickets at a movie or a concert? Or how to act in a meeting? These and millions of other similar kinds of knowledge we hold in our heads but don't use until we have to in a particular context. These are cultural models or dominant logics. So learning how to identify and change this kind of tacit knowledge, these dominant logics, is the surest path to real transformation because it gets at what is blocking your transformation to begin with. What keeps your organization, in other words, anchored to the status quo. But don't just take my word for it. See the research for yourself on the resources page of our website at culturelogics.com. Don't hesitate to reach out. We're happy to discuss this with you to see if we might be a good fit to help you in your transformation. Thank you.